Since the time of the Reformation, Christian readers in the West have read Paul's letter to the Galatians in terms of soteriology, that is, about how one gets saved, or more particularly how one, quote, gets to heaven. That's the result of a flattening out of the Jewish context from which Paul is writing, and of basically modern understandings of key terms like faith, justification, righteousness. In this course, I want to recover the original, rather complex, context of this letter, which I believe to be one of, if not the, earliest documents of the New Testament. And when we do this, we find that Paul's primary message has to do with what it means to be members of the Messianic community. Galatians introduces us to the very early Christian reflection on some of the most important theological concepts, ecclesiology, the New Age, Christology, atonement. We're going to look at all of these. We're going to dispel some myths about popular debates raging today, and we're going to dig deep into the progression of Paul's logic. And particularly, we're going to develop a deeper appreciation for how Paul presents his argument and for his message that because of Jesus' faithfulness on the cross and the answering faithfulness of believers, God declares a verdict of belonging, membership over the one singular family, which is the family promised to Abraham. This was a vital message for the early believers in southern Turkey to whom Paul was writing, and it remains a vital, often forgotten message for us today. Part 1, Identifying the Messianic Community, focuses on Galatians 1 through to 3.18 and explores the context and the argument that seems to have been raging in the Galatian church. Paul is addressing the very specific debates, what it means to be part of this new Messianic people. I hope you will join me in plumbing the depths of this intricate and foundational Christian text, and I hope that together we can see the theological richness that has all too often been overlooked.